Hello, hello. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Suleima, Graciela, welcome. Thanks. You're always All on right. time, eh? You're always yes. on time. <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Let me check the attendance. Three days in a row. Eh? And then Suleima Magaña. Okay. Good. Did you finish the the section two? Yes, I finished yes. three two and the midterm. Ah, you finished this, the test? Yes. Ah, nice. So tomorrow I will give instructions uh, okay. to to see well for the other student, right? That didn't yes. finish. Mm -hmm. And and everything was right, Graciela. You yes. had you had a ten. Yes, I have. Oh, okay, my goodness. <laughs> Congratulations. I like it. I like it. I was studying English uh, more, um, more, more or less 30 years ago. Ah, okay. So for you, this is a review. Okay. Yes. But there are many things new for me, like okay. the use of verb, like a, a verb and like a, a verb. Like an, like an adverb. Uh -huh. yes. like, like, like pretty, for example, it's, it's an adjective. And it's also a, an adverb that means very, pretty good. For example, it's very good. And, okay. mm -hmm. and all the girls and in I, this, all the girls in this class are pretty, you know? <laughs> so okay. that's I nice. I have a question because tell me, tell in, me. The, in the platform, yes, I write um, dining room mm -hmm. with double N. Double N, yes. Yes, but it's wrong. In the, Just one. In, in mm -hmm. the platform, in the platform, it says with only one N. And uh -huh. I asked uh, Oscar Rodriguez. Mm -hmm. uh, and he said there is a mistake. Uh, no, she told mm -hmm. me there is no, because in some uh, dictionaries appears like dining with only one. Mm, but okay. I was looking for a dictionary in a period with double N. Some dictionaries, know. yes. In some dictionaries, it's just one, right? Like, mm -hmm. but because it comes from dinner. Yes. But yes, I, I'm, I'm watching my dictionary here and it says with one N. One N, right? Okay. And last time I found it say soar instead of say sore muscles. Sore muscles, but it was... And the platform was soar. <laughs> but you know, uh -huh. nothing is perfect. Even in the books, the, the, okay. I, have, uh, I have one book, the name is Top Notch. And mm -hmm. this is an excellent book. And it has like three mistakes. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yes. And it's a book uh, from the United States. So nothing yes. is perfect, but, right? But when I, I wrote with double N, me salía malo, wrong, wrong. So but you, when I write with only one, one it, mm -hmm. it was good. Nice. Okay. Congratulations. Gabriela, did you finish the test, Gabriela? Hello. Hi, Hello. Gabriela. Did you finish the test? No. No, no yet. Okay. La well, okay. So uh, you can make it today or tomorrow. So before the, the class of tomorrow, because tomorrow I will explain and help you. If you say, teacher, en esta no pude, teacher, aquí todo. So we're going to do it together, right? Okay. And hello, Iris. Uh, how about you? Did you make the, the exam? Yes. The, yes. the section term. two. Ah, okay. So uh, tomorrow we're going to discuss it together, right? So if you have questions, no problem. We're going to develop la vamos a desarrollar la vamos a llevar a cabo right all your your questions okay. and gloria hello gloria how are you hello teacher nice Welcome. to meet you me too <laughs> and nice to see you again eh? uh, how about you okay. did you finish everything in the section two yes i finished oh, okay 10 10 10 and 10 right <laughs> yes Okay, mm -hmm. congratulations, congratulations. That's Thank nice. Thank you. But uh, always, if you have time, don't worry. I, I'm there to help you, right? Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Carlos. Welcome. Good evening. 
Oh, well, Welcome thank to you. Class. Nice hello. to see you. Good evening. Hello, hello. Who's talking there? Let me see. Ah, okay, I have Roberto. Welcome, Roberto. Welcome, Walter. Hello, hello teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Walter, you are new in the group. Ah, no, Walter Bonilla. Uh, you were in, in the last, last two class, right, Walter? Me faltó el lunes y el martes, right, Walter? Sí, estaba un poco más de salud. Ah, okay. Sorry. Sorry to hear that. But, but today you are better. Ya se siente mejorcito. Yes. Yes, okay, good. Thank you. Okay. Um, and welcome to Beatriz, to Brian, Maritza. Maritza, hello, Maritza. Hello. Uh, hello, Maritza. Yesterday I was asking, Maritza, ayer le estaba preguntando y, y no sé si se tenía problemas con el audio, ¿verdad? Maritza, sí. No tenía problemas con... Eh, good evening. Good evening. Eh, no tenía problemas con la mm. Se salí. Eh, ah, ok. No se escuchaba nada, por favor. Pero a, a mí no se me escuchaba, eh, Maritza. No, no podía ver nada. Ah, ok. Es que es no, igual porque of the tremor. Es que fue por el temblor, creo. <ríe> ah, no, pero el temblor fue después, ¿verdad? Quizás sí, no sé. Se fue después, okay. ajá. No. Ok. So that's it. Let's begin with the class, ok? Because it's time. Uh, as we always do, we're going to make a review, right? Of the last class. Uh, I have good news. Uh, yesterday, some of you were asking me for the PowerPoint program, right? Algunos de ustedes me estaban preguntando por los programas de PowerPoint. Eh, que estaban interesados en que les enviara algunos. Yes? So, I asked today and then I guess it's go it will be possible. Creo que sí se los voy a poder mandar. Así es que les voy a avisar para que... Especialmente el de ayer, que tenía mucho vocabulario. <laughs> Ok, ahí se los vamos a estar enviando, entonces, los que ustedes me pidan, ok. Good. So el, now, grupo, ¿El grupo? Yeah, yeah, in the WhatsApp. In the WhatsApp. Ok, perfecto. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, remember also, that you have the link in the platform, right? Uh, ustedes tienen un link para ver el video también. Mm. Y, y pueden ver el video también con, la, con la, la PowerPoint presentation también, ¿verdad? Pero si la quieren tener así como que, quiero repasar solo la, ahí se los vamos a dejar en el. El WhatsApp, ¿ok? Good, now. Ok, perfect. perfect. Ok, good. Thank you. You're welcome. And I will ask you something. Uh, please open your cameras because I want to see you, right? Especially in the pronunciation. When we are in the, in the conversation, I only watch you, right? Uh, and if you are like, like this, right? I don't know if you're repeating. But if you open your camera, I see your lips that you're talking. Uh -huh. So for that, the reason, for that reason, I need you open your camera, right? Okay, thank you. Now let's go. Let's share the, the, my window and let's start here. Oops, no, that's not the one, sorry. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. This is the one, okay. Okay. Good. Now, can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay, yes, good, good. Okay, let me check here, right? So this is the 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 knowledge check to to. 2.9, right? 2.9. Um, and let me see. This is about the reading, right? Well, we're going to check this. And it says, write each sentence a different way, selecting the correct words. And then uh, number one says, I have some chairs in the kitchen. Okay, but before this, I guess we're going to watch the video. Let's watch the video. And later we can make it together, right? Second here. Mm -hmm. 
Teacher, no se escucha. No listen, no listen. Sorry, give me a second, give me a second. Give me a second. But I really need class. You'll learn how to okay. form statements yes. with there is. Yes. And okay, good. There yes. Also, how to use some, no, and any when referring to different objects. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled "There Aren't Any Chairs." This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting. Let's listen and practice the conversation. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Now let's learn how to use there is and there are. I would like to start by demonstrating the examples on this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. There's equals there is. To better understand how to form this statement, I would like to write some formulas. For singular objects, there plus is or isn't plus a, that's the article a, or no, plus complement. For plural objects, there plus are or aren't plus some or any or no plus some kind of complement. So let's take a look at the first example on the left hand side of this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. This is a singular object so we're going to follow the formula there plus is or isn't plus a or no plus some kind of complement. So in this case we use there then the verb to be is is um, on the example is contracted as you can see there's we will use the article a the complement is bed in the bedroom we're going to do something similar with the next example there's no sofa in the bedroom at the beginning of our sentence we have there the verb to be is is once again on the example is contracted then we will use the article a because we are talking about a singular object finally we have the complement sofa in the bedroom the last example there isn't a table in the kitchen at the beginning of our sentence we use there the verb to be is isn't because we're expressing something negative then we use the article a because we're talking about a singular object. Finally, we have the complement, table in the kitchen. Now let's look at the right hand side of this chart. For these examples, we're going to talk about plural objects. So we need that there plus are or aren't plus some or any or no plus some kind of complements. Now let's uh, look at the first example on the right hand side of the chart. There are some chairs in the kitchen. At the beginning of our sentence we use there. After that the verb to be are. Next we use some. It's important to mention that we will use some whenever we're making positive statements. We can't say any, for example. Finally, we have the complement, chairs, in the kitchen. Our next example, there are no chairs in the living room. 
at the beginning of our sentence we use there. <coughs> After that, the verb to be are. Next, we're going to use no. Notice that we will use this expression whenever we're expressing something negative. And you can also say aren't any as well. Either one is correct. Uh, finally, we have the complement, chairs in the living room. For our uh, last example, there aren't any chairs in the living room. We start our sentence with there. Next, the verb to be aren't. After that, we're going to use any. It's important to remind you that we will use any whenever we are making negative statements. We can't say some, for example. Finally, we have the complement, chairs in the living room. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to describe the objects that you have and don't have in your house or apartment. After you finish this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. So now we're going to read the commentaries, right? That you made in the in the discussion. Okay. Uh, there are some sofas in the living room. That's okay. There is a table in the dining room, right? Uh, this is separated and we were discussing early with uh, Gabriela that it, there is only one N and in some dictionaries we have two double N right but most dictionaries well in my dictionary is only one N dining room only one N right there are any blenders in the kitchen okay now there are lamb in the bedroom mm hmm what happened with this uh, sentence? Let me see, uh, Beatriz, Beatriz Galdames, please. What is the problem with this sentence, Beatriz? Their lamp in the bedroom. Uh, le falta el verbo. Verb, verb to be, right? Is is or are, Beatriz? Is or are? There is a lamp or ah. there are lamp? Hmm? Are. Are. Is. The, Porque solo está de un lámpara. Lamp, right? So Singular. there is, and then the article, ah, there is a lamp, right? Imagine this is plural. So you say, there are lamps, right? But in this case, it's necessary to say, is a lamp in the bedroom. There is no drawer in the bedroom. There isn't a cutting board in the kitchen. Okay. There is an armchair in the bedroom. There's no rug. Mm, something happened here, right? Brian, please. What is missing here? ¿Qué es lo que nos hace falta aquí, Brian? There's no row. Bathroom. Mm, right? in, 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 the right? bathroom. in the bathroom. Very good. Remember, it's the bathroom, right? Don't say D because D is when it's a vowel. Cuando el nombre comienza con una vocal, se pronuncia D. Uh -huh. Pero como en este caso, antes se the bathroom, right? In the bathroom, ¿ok? There is an accordance. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Eh, uh, Christopher Sánchez, please. Christopher, what, what is the correct here? There is an accordance. No, there porque are, es en singular, sería there are. There isn't a curtain, right? Normally we have one curtain. Normalmente no es una cortina que tenemos en una casa. Yeah, Entonces, sería exactly. more sí. appropriate to say <laughs> sería, there aren't. ¿Ah? Yes or correct. no? Correct. Mm -hmm. There aren't Just, curtains. There are seven. There seven. are. Oh, okay. Yeah. You can say a number too. There aren't seven curtains, etc., etc. Okay. Continue, right? Um, there is a, a air conditioning in the living room. Mm -hmm. There is a little mistake here. And uh, let me see, Cory. Cory, please. What is the mistake here? There is a air conditioning. Dark. 
está bien escondido el error. An. An, right? an. an air conditioner, right? Porque cuando comienza el nombre con una vocal, se dice an, right? An air conditioner. Thank you. There aren't any armchairs in the living room. Perfect, good. Jose Lobo, Mr. Lobo, here, right, today. Thank you for your commentary, Jose. There is... Hello. Kitchen. Hello, welcome. Uh, there is a kitchen. Okay, just the Peter, right? Solo el puntito le faltó nada más ahí. There yeah. are some, aquí quizás un error de dedo nada más, some chairs. Correct. There aren't any windows. Then there is no TV. I like it, yes. Solo que hay que acostumbrarnos al puntito, ¿verdad ahí, José? Ok, de no. acuerdo. Ok, thank you. Thank um, you. For... There is a sofa in the living room, right? Solo la M, pero me imagino que es error de dedo. There is an, a lamp in the kitchen. There is no coffee table in the dining room, right? Eh, no los leo todos por el tiempo, pero... Ok. Criseida, there is... There are... Brian, vamos a leer este. There is a stove in the kitchen. There is a chair in the bathroom. There is a clock in the living room. That's okay. Okay, one more. There is... Mm -hmm. I want to check this one. Let me see. Uh, um, Flor. Flor, help me, please. What is the problem with this sentence? Okay. Flor. ¿Qué error vemos acá, Flor? Is there... And there isn't. Ah, ok. So we have to eliminate the contraction, right? Tenemos que eliminar esta contracción. No podemos usar el verbo tuvi dos veces. There is isn't, right? The correct one sería, Flor. ¿Cuál sería entonces? There isn't, there isn't a mirror in the kitchen. Very good. Thank you very much. Flor. There is a bed in the bedroom. There is no television in the bedroom. That's it, right? And we have a lot, but for the time we're going to... Xiomara here, right? Xiomara. Okay, uh, but it's the same. Yes, right? Xiomara. There is a mirror. Mm -hmm. That's okay. There are chairs in the dining room. Okay, aquí sí está con una N, ¿verdad? That's correct. There is a truck in the garage. There aren't cameras. Sometimes it's more appropriate to say there aren't any cameras, right? Como para darle más saborcito a la oración, you know, there aren't any cameras. But your sentences are correct, Xiomara. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thank all, right? Gracias a todos por sus comentarios. That's, that's nice. I like it. I like it. Okay, now, we're going to go to the, to the knowledge check, right? And here we have the, the, the sentence, right? I have some chairs in the kitchen. el niño? Eh... Okay, it's letter B, chairs in the kitchen, right? So we have four options. There are no, there is a, there are some, there is no. Okay, let's, th let's think number one. Remember that in English, it's different from Spanish. In Spanish, we say, hay tres sillas, hay una silla, right? In Spanish, no problem. But in English, we have to distinguish between singular and plural, right? Now, in this case, chairs. Chairs is singular or plural, Gabriela? Gabriela Hernandez? No. Chairs, in letter B, right? Chairs is singular or plural? Plural. Plural, right? Okay, thank you. And Gloria, please. Gloria, so what are we going to use? There is, Gloria, or there are? There are. There are, correct, right? So. We eliminate some option here, right? I'm not going to tell you the answer. No le voy a decir la respuesta, but, but you, you can see that you eliminate, right? Uh -huh. And now let's go to the logic. Ahora vámonos por la lógica. I have some chairs in the kitchen. Okay? So, in this case, yo no, yo no tengo, yo tengo una mesa. No, sorry. Yo tengo algunas sillas en la, en la, en la, en la, la cocina, right? So in this case, there are no. There are some. There no, 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 don't say. <laughs> there are some. And there is no, right? Number one, we have two options. Ya eliminamos la, esta opción y esta opción. Solo nos queda. There are no. And there are some. 
Entonces aquí vean ustedes <coughs> si es algo positivo o es negativo. Entonces ahí van a encontrar la respuesta. ¿Ok? Continue, right? I have a stove in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So, stove. Now, in this case, stove is singular or plural, eh, Graciela? Singular. Singular, right? So, again, we eliminate when we use are, right? Are, look. Mm -mm, no, right? <clears throat> so, we have three possibilities. One, two, and three, right? And then you, you're going to say, ah, entonces si hay una cocina en la... Perdón, hay una cocina en la cocina, right? Hay una estufa en la cocina. So, okay. Next one. I don't have a refrigerator. Ah, I don't have. So it's negative, right? So this is have to be negative. One of the options must be negative, right? I don't have curtains. Again, curtains is plural, right? And the sentence yes. is negative, right? The sentence is negative. Good. I don't have any rugs on the floor. Negative and rogues is plural, right? Okay. So we have one, two, three possibilities because there is noise eliminated, right? Okay. So I imagine all of you finished this, right? Did anybody have any problem? ¿Alguno de ustedes tuvo problema para hacer este ejercicio? No. No, no, okay. Eh, Walter. En este caso me tendría que terminar toda la, la sección 2, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Sí, me, me he atrasado. Ok, good, no problem. Y cuando termine, pues ahí estamos para ayudarlo también, ¿ok? Y okay. let me okay. see. Um, good. Now, let's go to the class of today, right? Let's go to the class. Give me a second. En esta semana tenemos que terminar también la sección 3. Eh, yes, yes, to this week, this week, and the, the test, right? Tenemos que terminar el examen también. Uh, tendría oh, que ser okay. entre ahora y mañana que tendría que terminar el examen, ¿ok? Para revisarlo juntos el jueves, yes, ¿ok? Eh, okay. La política sería siempre de ustedes hacen el ejercicio antes y luego si no lo pueden hacer, pues me piden ayuda a mí o lo vemos en clase juntos. Y yo les doy toda la asesoría, ¿ok? Good. Okay. And por aquí veo a Alicia. Bienvenida, Alicia. También me había faltado algunas clases, ¿verdad, Alicia? Hello. Gracias. ¿Me, me escucha? Hola. Hola. Bienvenida. Welcome. ¿Sí? Welcome. <laughs> Alicia Chacha, permítame. Thank you. Eh, sorry, Alicia, usted tiene una, un familiar en otro grupo. Porque eh, tengo... Eh, tengo pues nombres, creo tengo... que en este mismo grupo está mi prima, Gris... Griselda. Griselda. Ah, ok. Pero tampoco ella me ha asistido. Ajá. Sí. Ah, pues ahí me le, me le recuerdo, oiga, para que uh -huh. no falte clase. Permítame. Si es que ahí me había confundido yo. Alicia. Chacha. ¿verdad? Vaya, está bien. Me gusta mucho su apellido. <ríe> ok, thank you. Igual que... <ríe> que los demás hay que ponernos... De... Bueno. Hay que ponernos al día, ¿verdad? Ah. Update en in inglés, update, right? Ok, y quien más veo ahora que a Kevin. Kevin, no sé si tiene problemas con el micrófono, Kevin. Kevin. Ah, ok. Hoy no. Hoy no. Bye. Ayer sí, ¿verdad? Eh, no, le pedí participación y quizás no, no le servía el micrófono. Sí, ayer la señal estaba mal. Ah, ok. Good. Thank you, thank you very much. Ahí estamos, ¿verdad? Poquito a poquito nos vamos conociendo. Poquito, poquito, ¿ok? Luego ya después voy a, me voy a ubicar bien. Good. Now let's continue. Now let's start with the class eh, of today. But I have a message. No se escucha. Gabriela, eh, ¿me escucha ahorita, Gabriela? ¿O era lo del video? ¿Gabriela? ¿Qué se me hizo, Gabriela? Hello. Sí, Hello. era lo del video. Era lo del video. Va, está bien. Pero ahorita me escuchan bien. Sí, ahora sí. Ok, good. Thank you, thank you. Now let's go to the... To the class of today. Give me a second. Here, right. Ok.
Okay, these are the topics for today, right? Jobs, vocabulary, and activities. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Excuse me. And uh, we have here a pronunciation, reduction of do and does, right? Uh, por ahí había un otro ejercicio que, eh, de, la, de la sección 2 que era de escuchar también, ¿verdad? Se lo, no lo revisamos porque creo yo que no tienen problema, ¿verdad? es solo de escuchar y responder. Ok, and, sorry, we have uh, just vocabulary and activities. Pronunciation, reduction of do and does. Este sí lo podemos hacer ahora, right? And simple present WH questions and one conversation. He works in a hotel. That's the name of the conversation. So today we have vocabulary, pronunciation, grammar, and conversation. We have four activities, right? Four activities for today. Okay? Now, uh, to start with the lesson objective, uh, I need the help of someone in the class. Let me see. Um, Iris, please, can you help? Can you read the the lesson objective, please, Iris? By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for home jobs. Additional, you will have some practice in this describe the activities. Describing, mm -hmm. describing, describing, describing the activities. The activists that different jobs do. Do. Different jobs. Do, do, do. do. Thank you very much, Iris. Thank you very much. Okay, now, uh, this is the objective of, the, of today's class. The first part, right, is about jobs. And then here we have some jobs. Listen, or occupation. You can say jobs, occupation is the same. Professions, okay? Vocabulary. Occupations. Read and listen. One. Sorry. Vocabulary. Excuse me, excuse me. Occupations. Read and listen. One. A teacher. Two. A student. Three. An architect. Four. An actor. Five. An athlete. Six. A musician. Seven. An artist. Eight. A banker. Nine. A singer. Ten. A flight attendant. Now listen again and repeat. A teacher. Come on, repeat. A teacher. A student. Teacher. An architect. An actor. An athlete. A musician. An artist. A banker. A singer. A flight attendant. Okay. That's why I need you to open your camera, right? I want to see you repeat, repeating, right? You will have more examples, right? But come on, enthusiasm. I need you to repeat. Come on. Vocabulary. First time, only listen. More occupations. And then repeat. Read okay? and listen. One. She's a chef. Two. He's a writer. Three. She's a manager. Four. She's a scientist. Five. He's a doctor. Six. She's an engineer. Seven. He's a photographer. Eight. He's a pilot. Now listen again and repeat. Repeat, please. She's a chef. He's a writer. She's a manager. She's a scientist. He's a doctor. She's an engineer. 
He's a photographer. He's a pilot. Okay, any question? Any question? Yes, about this? yes I have one. Oh. Please, please. Uh -huh. Can you pronounce again photography? Uh, for, photographer. You can say photographer or photographer. 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 Thanks, teacher. Or photographer. The two are correct. The two are correct, right? But the most common teacher. is photographer. Because it's photo, photo, photographer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Any other question? Yes, teacher. Yes. Come on, come on, please. What is the question? Gracias, teacher. Eh, en la pronunciación de científica, ¿cómo sería? Scientist. Scientist. Science. Okay. Mm -hmm. Scientist. Also, it's the same pronunciation in ciencia. Science. Science. Scien <laughs> scientist. Scientist. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Another question? Yes, teacher. How yes, do yes. you pronounce this? Artista? Artist. 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 Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Xiomara. Okay, good. No more questions? Good. Now, let's go to the next part, right? Uh, okay. Now we're going to check the platform. Here, right? Okay. Just give me a second. I will minimize the screen. And let's start with section three, right? Section three. And we are going to see the vocabulary in the platform, right? Here, right? He's a salesperson. 15. Everyone, in this class, you'll learn vocabulary for common jobs. Additionally, you'll also practice describing the activities that different jobs do. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. 1. He's a receptionist. 2. She's a doctor. 3. She's a nurse. 4. He's a pilot. 5. She's a flight attendant. 6. He's a musician. 7. She's a singer. 8. She's a judge. 9. He's a police officer. 10. He's a lawyer. 11. He's a cook. He's a chef. 12. He's a waiter. 13. She's a waitress. 14. He's a salesperson. 15. She's a cashier. 16. She's a security guard. Now let me write some additional vocabulary, which we will use to make sentences which describe the activities that these different jobs do. Places. In a hospital in an office, in a store, in a hotel. Activities. Wears a uniform, sits all day, talks to people, works hard, stands all day, handles money, works at night, writes tickets. Now we want to connect the job to places and activities let me make a couple of examples and then I would like for you to make your own. A doctor, 
works in a hospital. This is place. A doctor works hard. This is an activity. A cashier works in a store. Cashier works in a store. This is a place. A cashier handles money. This is an activity. Now I would like for you to make examples with all the vocabulary words given. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Excuse me. Let A me cashier hand this is an activity. Make examples with Okay. Here we have the activity, right? Now we're going to start working with Jennifer Duarte. Okay, Jennifer, we're going to take one occupation, right? And we're going to say um, where do that person work, right? Okay. For example, let's talk about, um, let me see, let's talk about a teacher, uh -huh, teacher, right? It's easy. The best profession in the world, eh? <laughs> okay, a teacher. And then you say, a teacher works, Jennifer, a teacher works in? In the school. Correct. A teacher works in a school. Now, activity. A teacher works. I will give you three options. Works hard, works a lot, or works a little. A little means poquito, right? <laughs> For her. <laughs> hard. <laughs> Thank you, Roberto. Thank you. Yeah, sometimes it's hard, right? Come on, Jennifer. So uh, for you, Jennifer, a doctor? Uh, uh, sorry, excuse me, a teacher? <laughs> a teacher? A little? A lot? Or hard? Mm, a little. Okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> so say, a teacher works, come on, the full sentence. La oración total, okay. A teacher. A teacher works in a school. A little, no, a little. Oh, a teacher works a little. Okay, trabaja poquito, right? Yes. <laughs> Ahora en cuarentena, sí. <laughs> no, we have classes. I have classes in the morning, in the afternoon, at, and at night. So it's... Oh, sorry. Sorry for, for your son, right? But some teachers, we are working, believe me, yes. Okay. For example, in my school, I have a test for this Friday. I have eight sections. Ocho secciones, right? And I have to give the exams to like about... 300 students, como 300 alumnos, right? So it's, it's very hard, believe me, for some teachers. <laughs> anyway, don't worry. Okay, then the next one, please. Uh, a waiter, a waiter. Who's going to help me? Jose Lobo. Jose, please. A waiter. Yes, teacher. Okay, Jose. Uh, a waiter works in... A waiter. Mm -hmm. You know what is a waiter, right? Sabe que es un waiter, no. ¿verdad? No. Okay. No. A waiter no, no. Is okay. Mesero. Oh, mesero. Yeah. Okay, mesero. So a waiter. A waiter. A waiter works uh -huh. in a restaurant. In a restaurant. Good. In a restaurant. In a, a waiter. Le vamos a echar la mano. Eh, serves. Okay, will... Sirve, sirve. Serves. Serves. Serve. Ajá, ok. Now you make the sentence. Serve. Vamos a ver si podemos hacer la oración. No se preocupen si no pueden hacerlo, porque esta es la parte más difícil, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay, come on, don't worry. So, a, a waiter. A waiter serves. Serve. Oh. 
I don't know. ¿Qué, ¿Qué es lo que sir. sirve el mesero? ¿Qué es lo que sirve el mesero? I will serve to a food. Food. Yes. Food. Ok, now the full sentence, José. Ahora la oración completa. A waiter. A waiter. Serve a food. 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 Serve food, right? On, on, okay. Only food. Okay. Only food. Yes, yes. That's it, right? One more. Thank one you. more. Let me see. Thank you, José. Eh, Kevin. Hoy sí, Kevin está bien con su internet. Come on, Kevin. Eh, Hola. Hello, hello. So, choose you. Hola. Kevin, choose the profession, you, right? Usted escójame la, la ocupación. Sí. Y vamos a crear dos oraciones juntos, ¿ok? Hola. Here, I can hear you, José. Kevin, lo escucho, lo escucho. Le vamos a dar una pista aquí, mire. Where's a uniform? ¿Quiénes visten uniforme? Kevin, ¿en qué ocupaciones la gente viste uniforme? Kevin, ¿me escucha, Kevin? Mm, creo que estamos teniendo problemas con... Eh, ¿Los demás me escuchan? Sorry. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Sí, creo que... yes, yes. Kevin creo que está teniendo otra vez problemas con él. El... Bueno, ok. Espero que me esté escuchando, Kevin. Now, María Maya. María. Hello? María, can you hear me? Ok, now, give me a sentence, please. Here we have... Le vamos a dar una pista, María. Where's a uniform? ¿Quién, quién viste uniforme? Policeman. Policeman, no sé right. Okay, now, please, make the sentence. Ahora hagamos la oración. A policeman work in... Where's? Where's a uniform. A uniform. Very good. Ahí está la actividad. Ahora vamos a ver dónde trabaja el policía. A police... A police... Uh, a police works. work... De... In, no sé, jefatura, no sé. In the police office, right? <laughs> o, o on the streets. Office, office. Uh, police office. Uh -huh. O, o on, on, the, on the streets, right? On the streets. Ok, very good. I like this activity. Ya me gustó la actividad, solo por on eso vamos street. a decirle. Um, y, um, y, teacher, una pregunta. Y, en ese, y en, ese ejem en ese ejemplo que está poniendo sería in an office. In an office, yes, or at uh, the police uh, station. Uh -huh. You say police okay. office or police station, right? Station. Mm. Police station, yes. Station. Okay, in, but when you say the street, this is on the streets. Okay? On the street. On the street, yes. Okay, now, um, the last one, let me see. Uh, Maritza, can you hear me, Maritza? Hello. Hello. Okay, let me see. Um, Uh, let me see. Works at night. Eh, ¿Qué ocupaciones trabaja en la noche? Vamos. Podría ser un chef. Yes. Que trabaja en la noche en un restaurante. Ok. So, Maritza, make this sentence okay. with the chef, right? And the, the activity is works at night. Ok. Um, Chef, mm -hmm. work in the Works? restaurant. No, no, this is the activity. This is the activity, right? And activities. Ah, no, but the sentence is correct. Excuse oh. me, excuse me. Excuse me, Maritza. The sentence number one is okay. A chef works in a, in a, in a restaurant, right? That's correct. Now the activity. Yes. A chef. A chef. Um, A chef works. ¿A, ¿A qué horas trabaja el chef, Maritza? Uh -huh. Here we have the activity, right? Aquí tenemos las actividades. Here we have the activities. And in one of the activities, it works at night, right? At night. Okay. Now, now, Maritza. A chef. A chef. Me escucha entrecortado. No, no me escucha bien. 
Hoy sí. Hoy sí. Ah, ok. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Ok. ¿A chef? ¿A chef? Ok, vamos a hacerla más fácil para Maritza. Ok. ¿A chef? ¿Handles money o works at night? ¿Handles money o works at night, Maritza? Hello, can you hear me? Sí me escucha, ¿verdad? Yes. Está mala la señal. Ah, uh, ok. Vamos a ver si le ayuda a alguien más, Maritza. Eh, a chef at night. At night, right? A chef work at night. Very good. At night. Mm -hmm. So you can make a lot of combination. Now, in the commentaries, cuando vayan a la, a la discussion, me ponen el lugar donde trabaja cada persona y eh, la actividad. Y aquí tenemos algunos ejemplos, ¿ok? Pueden ponerme unas tres ocupaciones, ¿ok? Good. Ok. Now we're going to play a game. Vamos a hacer un jueguito, ¿ok? Let's play a game. Ok. Uh, por ahí tengo un mensaje de Kevin que no me escucha bien. Uh, no sé si soy yo o es la señal en, en otros lugares. Ok. Pero si no me escuchan bien, por favor, me, me detienen. Me detienen y me dicen. Ok, now. Let me check. Eh, this question is for eh, Xiomara Guerra, right? No, sorry. Walter Bonilla. Walter. I will give you the occupation, right? And I will tell you the first letter and the last letter, right? Walter, le voy a dar la primera letra y la última. La primera letra y la última, okay? Walter, can you hear me? Walter, ¿me escucha? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, I will give you, Walter, the first letter and the last. La primera y la segunda y la última letra. Y usted me adivina la ocupación, okay? You're going to guess the occupation. So, the first letter is P. And the last letter is T. Pilot? Pilot, correct. Pilot, Thank you. perdón. Pilot, Pilot, yes. No, don't worry about the pronunciation. Xiomara, Xiomara Guerra, please. Uh, the first one, Xiomara, is... Let me see. S... And the last letter is R. Xiomara, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Come on, Xiomara. The first letter is S and the last letter is R. I don't know, teacher. You don't know. Puedo ayudar. Okay, yes, yes, come on. Singer. Singer, right? Singer. Very good. Next one, uh, Suleima. Suleima. Hello, Suleima. Hello, hello. Sí. Yes, okay. The first letter, Suleima, is L. And the last letter is R. The first is L, and the last is R. Mm. No, Suleima. Te voy a quedar mal. <laughs> okay, don't worry, don't worry, Suleima. Take it easy. Anybody else? Alguien más? Lawyer. Lawyer. Lawyer, Lawyer right? Okay, Lawyer. the last one. The last one. Eh, Sarita, Sara. Hello, Sara. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. For you, the first letter is W. W. And the last letter is R. Waiters. Waiter, right? Excellent, Wait. Sarita. Waiter, right? Very good. Now, let's continue with the next part, right? And we are going to continue with this. Just give me a second. Here, right? The conversation. 
sorry, give me a second. Conversation, simple present. Good. Now we're going to continue with the PowerPoint presentation. Let me see here, right? Okay. I will share the my my screen with you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 